sending me and I'm sending me all these updates. Yes. So what do you think about it? So what do you think about it? Oh, I I think uh like where have you been all my life? <laughs> um I just I can't even uh like it's actually overwhelming uh the stuff that I'm learning from that. Um as Sylvia knows like I was dating a guy the last two years and we've been kind of broke up since like March of last year. But the first and actually another friend of mine who Sylvia knows Kevin um if told me like to get rid of soul ties and things like that and that's like one of the first things in the book that I discovered was getting rid of things in my home and getting things that he's given me because I'm keep holding on to things and I think that's what's been so hard is letting go and um so that was like the best thing thus far because I had did that before I came to Florida so then on the on the 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 plane I was like, "Oh my gosh, like wow, because like this is so good because I've done this before I left Ontario." And uh but just um getting pointers like um like well the no kissing rule, I'm so on to that because oh my gosh, like that is the best because I think with all of my relationships has just been wham, you know, right into it, yeah. not yeah. finding out like with my last relationship it was um If I would have done that no kissing rule, I would have found out that this guy had a problem with drinking. Like right when I didn't find this out until like he won my heart and then it's so hard to get rid of things and a person after they've won your heart and you try, you know, to just do anything you can to keep them, you know, around and uh but just uh the pointers like of um like the 12 things of what looking for compatibility and all that stuff and chemistry like oh my gosh is like is, i can't even describe how amazing it is like you put this together it's so me and like i i don't know how many people i've told it's on my facebook it's all over the place i've told my brother i mean going to pay for him to come to your seminar like right on, it's just, right on. you know it, yeah because um A lot of times us women we jump into things too fast and yes. for me it's been like that and uh like I just yeah I can't and I don't want to say a whole lot about the book because I don't want people to read it right so <laughs> I like I like um where I told you I did my list and uh, I did that up uh I've got like 25 things or something but I've really struggled with um the fact that my ex-boyfriend couldn't call me beautiful. Yeah. And uh yeah. and I really struggled with that a lot because uh we went to a movie one night and there was a beautiful actress well in the movie and he's like well she's beautiful like she's a definition of beautiful and I'm like this girl spent 10 hours probably getting dressed up but I looked at him and I said do you know what beautiful actually is? Oh. Like you obviously <laughs> you're looking here because beautiful to me is what makes up a person. And um and like to me if I got a struggle to get someone to tell me that I'm beautiful then no this is not going to work. Oh that's and, oh, right. Yeah oh it was it was like like he yeah you know and um I so I I'm learning from this book. You again. Yeah no more Amanda no sir and I'm I and like I've always been a happy person um I've got rid of things in my life long time and I am a happy person but um I don't think I should have to fight for a man like to you know what I mean and uh like yeah and I'm tired of fighting for men trying to keep men pleasing men giving them sex for you know what I mean I'm tired of that so I'm like you're going to you're going to want me you're going to want me for me and not for sex right yes so, yes I like that and I'm high five you yeah oh I've already told a couple of guys a guy today was messaging me and he's like Well, I'm not paying to go to a seminar to get some girl to tell me uh how to find dating and blah 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 and all this and I'm like, well, sucks to be you because I've been doing all the wrong things and I'm willing to pay dollars for someone to help me and coach me and teach me like, you know, like I'm willing and open for anything. So, uh it's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. Totally. Totally. I don't I honestly don't care if I ever like got if I got to wait years to get the right man, I'm willing to wait because this is going to be my way of getting a man because I'm sick of guys. And I love that chapter 2 where it talks about guys are this, 
men are this. Like, oh, it's so right on. Like, you're so smart. You're so smart. Oh, it's so, everything in that body is beauty and brain. Oh, totally. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, I'm on 42.